That's right. Jazzy B. Enigma. That's what Jazzy B is. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Jazzy B? What a man. The man that can. If anything needs doing, Gaz can probably do it. Fix your car, fix your bike, drive your lorry, make your bed, all sorts. Looking for the lines for the riders, get used to the layout so I know what they're talking about when they're asking for certain things. Generally try and get away from you. We are not in Germany. <laughs> we are in France. Viva la France. What is it English? Um, it's World Champs Week. And we're ready to smash it. <laughs> I think it's my first paint in nails and don't know how many years. But looks quite all right, huh? Uh, yeah, let's go. This track is sick. Yeah, this is some of the best I think the last two rounds we got here, the Jay and Rad, so pretty, pretty raw downhill. Really like it, and uh, hopefully, I, I'm kind of hoping the dust days. I think um, these sorts of tracks, when they get real blown out, and dusty, like separate out quite a lot. I've injured my leg. Not too bad. I think it'll be good for racing, but uh, I'm not even going to tell you guys about the story. It wasn't on my bike, so it's pretty sad. So. Um, yeah, just trying to use the, the walking sticks to take the load off the leg and see if it'll heal up. But yeah, just a pretty bad Charlie horse. Three or four sections now in the first quarter of the track that I've got multiple lines that are gonna start, like tree roots are gonna start coming out. Um, so I'll be up in this first wood first thing and try and get on the right line as soon as possible. Passing info to the guys. not the right hand man, he's just the man. The man that can. <laughs> he's just the everything man. But yeah, he's gonna be helping out on course, which is cool. Stoked about him and Steve working together. It's gonna be cool. Definitely finding the fastest line, often the path of least resistance. And then quite a lot of it is just them telling you you've done something good. Like half the time it's just like a bit of a ego stroke, <laughs> you know, like just sometimes when you you're not sure, like, there's there's a lot of lines on World Cup tracks, so you got to, like, pick them up pretty quick, get up to speed on them in two goes, and it's pretty good to have someone telling you if you need to hit it faster or if it was real good. So, yeah, normally I'll try and hit the line as fast as I can in front of them and give myself a little confidence ego stroke. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work like that and I'm a squid. Yeah, they've just come up over Massive Digger and flattened one of the thicker sections of the track, but... That side, they've done a sterling job up there, so we'll let them off. Day two of the race, day one of practice. Laurie's special McQueen bike. I think it's Mc Lightning McQueen from the Cars movie, because his middle name's McQueen. Would you think the paint job's huge fan? I'm a huge fan, yeah. Yeah, really big fan. Didn't think I'd like it, but I do in real life. Thank you, sir. Oh, it feels good to look down at a white fork again. Hey, let's go have some wraps. Hey, crew. See you later. Yes. The track's pretty good, you can go fast straight away. I think you need to be precise when you want to go really fast. Um, had lots of fun, but uh, race is on Saturday, so I need to chill out <laughs> a little bit. I think it's going to change a lot the next days, depends on it, if it rains or not. Um, the moment's actually kind of easy to ride as it's dry. Yeah, just having fun out there. It's 
such a sick clip. Do you want that clip? That's sick. Flat out the whole way, and it's so like blown up and blown out that trying to it's hard to get out of the ridden line because when you, you you're riding that fast from tape edge to tape edge, it's it's gonna be hard to get out of the ridden line, and then if it rains. You're going so fast, you're going to sort of be in the ridden, blown out line, so it could be pretty spicy if it gets wet, I think. Well, it's like our first day of training, but we've got an extra day, so... But you kind of needed to get up to pace because we qualify or whatever tomorrow, seeding. So, I uh, wanted to make sure I had a good rhythm. There's a lot of split sections in track, make sure I've tried both, because it's going to... One's going to blow out for sure. So I don't think what the fastest line today is going to be the fastest line Sunday, but it's worth trying them all. And we did that, so I just kind of worked on just the track pace a bit. And uh, I think uh, tomorrow will just be a nice steady run and then start plotting the, the track for the final. I've had a great day on here. In the sunshine, watching bikes, eating my lunch, yeah, missing the radio calls. It's been fantastic.